Hey guys, I'm Allison, I'm the Pampered Wife. Today I'm trying new products. I've actually been wearing them for almost a week, but I shot this video once before. <laughs> it didn't work out. Um, today I've had quite a lot of difficulties as well. Hopefully you'll stick with it and make it through the video. I apologize, I'm having some lighting issues due to being in our condo in the mountains and just a whole lot of natural light that is really affecting things. Anyway, I am using two brands that I think go really well together. It's Iris and Romeo and Fit Glow. All their products have skincare benefits. They're not just for makeup. Iris and Romeo is about quick, on the go. Um, I have their foundation, which is also a moisturizer, serum, and SPF. And I have their lip balm, which also has, I don't know if it's lip pumping. I'll read you off the box what it said, but it's their Power Peptide Lip Balm. And I have their brow product which is also supposed to be a brow serum as well as brow tint and hold and then for fit glow i've got their new refillable palette where you choose your own shades to go into it and it has four shades i've got their new lash primer and then i also have their concealer which is not new but still a great product and I, uh, so that's how i got this full face let's go ahead and jump in Let's go ahead and put the hair back, get it out of the face. All right, so we're gonna start with the Iris and Romeo Best Skin Days SPF 25 in the shade number five. I'm gonna insert some footage of me showing you the product itself and reading off the box. This is a five-in-one skincare that is to provide dewy coverage and has broad spectrum SPF 25. This breakthrough five-in-one hybrid evens out complexion and adds a beautiful dewy glow while also protecting against UVA, UVB, blue light, and pollution. Made with our moisture-retaining hyaluronic acid and Bulgarian rose Otto, considered one of the most precious oils in the world and rich in oleic fatty acids like omega-9, antioxidants, vitamin C, and an unprecedented concentration of collagen boosting oligosaccharides. The skincare meets makeup game changer promotes skin wellness for bouncier, juicy skin instantly and over time. It smells, if anything, maybe a little fresh. And the texture is so elegant and beautiful. You think a sunscreen foundation is going to be, well, a mineral sunscreen is going to be thick and greasy, and this is none of that. It is like a gel foundation. It's just the loveliest texture. It really does feel like you're just putting a nice lotion on your face, a moisturizing lotion that has some tint to it and SPF. Like, you don't feel like you're putting on a thick SPF. I do get my eyelids with it because it's the SPF and it spreads out really easily. I have used a densely packed dome brush also to apply it or spread it out and that works really nicely. I've never used a sponge and I wouldn't recommend it because a sponge picks up product and if you're using this as SPF, you don't want to pick any of that product up. I always like to get my scar right here from where I had my thyroid removed. This is the travel size, which is, I believe, 0.35 ounces and $17, whereas the full size is like $65 and maybe 1.7 ounces. I love that they sell the travel sizes and they are multiple shades and it's a decent range of shades. And here it is on the face. They call it a dewy finish. I don't think it's really so dewy as it is just skin-like. I would call it a satin finish which I like. I'm so over the dewy. And it's a, I would say, light to medium coverage. I only put one layer on. You can build it up a little bit more. And it has a really nice finish as far as touch. Your skin just feels moisturized. It doesn't feel tacky or sticky, but you can feel that it's moisturized. And what I'm trying to say there is that I don't need to powder this. I will powder it, a little bit later, just before I go in with the Fit Glow products on my face, um, that's because of those products, but I don't powder this on a typical day. I don't need to powder it. I think it has a gorgeous finish, and it matches my skin color tone very well, and it wears really nicely as well. It will wear off around the chin, you know, from eating and wiping my face a lot, but that's not atypical, and it doesn't look 
weird or splotchy or anything when it wears off. It just naturally wears off and it still looks, you know, like your skin. It doesn't break apart or any of that. I am having to blow my nose quite a bit, so if uh, throughout the video my nose turns red or it looks like the foundation is coming off, that's because I've wiped it off with a Kleenex. There's nothing wrong with the foundation. Um, <clears throat> That's just lovely spring allergies, but at the same time, it's freezing here today, and that's why the fireplace is on behind me. Um, let's go in now with their Power Peptide Lip Balm. It's a treatment lip color and balm. It comes in seven shades. I got the shade Nude, and they're all like sheer buildable shades, but pretty sheer. I kind of wish I got more of a shade because it is pretty sheer, but let's read about it a little bit. This rich, buttery lip balm is also a plumping and hydrating treatment with buildable color made with collagen boosting biomimetic peptides that help increase lip volume and firmness while deeply hydrating. Our exclusive rose wax is blended using nutritious oils and moisturizing butters, including Bulgarian Rosa Damascena, Rosa Centifolia, Shea Butter, Rose Hip Oil, and Camellia Oil. My lips are a bit dry and I really, really like this product. I do wish I got more of a shade because it doesn't hardly show up. It really just acts as a balm and has some sheen. It's not super shiny. I would prefer a different delivery system so it definitely could be in some kind of push-up, um, more like a lip product would be in rather than dipping my finger in a million times. I'm sure when it's warmer, it'll be softer. And that will also annoy me because then I'll get too much on my fingers. So I don't know if they looked at um, like a squeezy tube. I think this product would be too hard to get it out of. But I feel like a push-up, you know, like a typical lip balm, container or lipstick container would have been a nicer option for this. That's just a critique, but I really like it. It's really comfortable. If I'm talking and have this on and I'm talking for an hour straight like I do sometimes, it will still be on after that hour. Uh, it just is really comfortable and nourishing and I, I really like it. Let's now talk about their brow up. This is a thickening brow balm. It is to add tint, volume, and treatment. It's a three-in-one thickening brow balm that helps promote fullness with a clinically proven hair care active while tinting, shaping, and thickening with every swipe. Remove wand and wipe off excess. Apply to the center of brows first, then brush up and out, building a desired shape and fullness. This comes in three shades, is $26. Definitely follow the directions and wipe off as much of the product as you can. That's my advice. It is pigmented and it goes on to the brow. And if you are looking for hold, I would keep looking. This is not the product. Definitely, it definitely adds color to the brows. So you will see that momentarily. So I'm not gonna dip it back in because there would be way too much product on here. Um, it will last all day, but what I found is it's can it can smear. I've never had this with an uh, eyebrow product. It like if I wipe my you know forehead and get my brow too, the product can smear. It does dry down, but I guess maybe a damp hand or fingertips or something can cause that to happen. It can be a little messy. This is not my favorite, as you can see in applying it, it left a clump right there. So it doesn't come with a spoolie. Of course, I recommend having one and I have, I think like um, a mascara wand. But as I said, it's really pigmented, adds a lot of pigment. I found quite a few times I've put too much on and my brows just look harsh. This is the medium shade. There are only three shades. So there's one shade lighter that would be more for blondes and there's one shade deeper, which would be for people with, you know, darker, oh, sorry. 
darker brows than I have and I would prefer just a little bit lighter shade. I feel like it's really deep and dark. I don't know about the growth factors or the nourishing properties of it. I've only used it for about a week now. On the one hand, I have the Say Brow Butter, which doesn't leave hardly any tint to my brows and has a light hold. And then there's this, which is a ton of tint and maybe the same amount of hold as the Say, but I feel like they're on opposite ends of the spectrum as far as color goes as far as depositing color and leaving color in your brows. If you've ever tried the Say product and are curious, that's where this one stands. Now we're gonna move into the Fit Glow. I'm gonna go right into the eyes in case there's any fallout, then I can do concealer afterwards to cover up. There really isn't fallout with this product, but that's what I'm gonna do. So we've got the Fit Glow Beauty Recycled Plastic Refillable Palette. I'm actually excited about this because I don't have any refillable pa palettes and it's got the magnet underneath each shadow or product and I can hopefully put in other products as I use these up if if I have other products that'll go because I could even fit a square like these are these are big pans so I feel like I could even put a square eyeshadow in there as long as it's smaller or something I don't know this is my first time with this stuff so let me swatch all these for you So in the palette, I have two mattes. The Vanilla Eyeshadow and the Go Blush are the two mattes in here. And then the Medium Brown is, I would say, a satin. And then the Bronze is a shimmer. The Flats or the Matte products are definitely have less fallout. Less. So I'm just going in with a flat brush and gonna put this all over my lid. I found that they actually wear best without an eye primer. Of course, I do have on the Dew Skin. Is that called Dew Skin? Am I confusing that with an Ilia product? Best Skin Days. I do have on the Best Skin Days on my eyelid, so that is acting as a primer. So the vanilla really doesn't show up on me. I wish there were a whiter, brighter matte shade available, and maybe one will come out because I feel like no matter how much I put on, this just blends in with my skin too much. Maybe I'd prefer it a little more opaque or maybe I'd per just prefer a brighter shade, but it doesn't really do any brightening for me. I'm curious if you've tried this and have a much deeper skin tone, does it show up a lot more? Or if you're paler than I am, does it show up? Because Maybe it's canceling out some redness or something, but it's just not. I cannot use it as an inner corner highlight or a brow bone highlight, and I'm using a lot, if you saw. I went in quite a few times. Now I'm gonna go in with the bronze and put that, tap that off, put that on the outer portion of my lid, carrying it up to the crease. Again, using the same shadow brush. I mean, it's a different one, because. I'm not mixing the colors, but it's the same brand and model. It's just an eco brow. So I don't know if you can see, there is the shimmer. I can see it in my mirror. And then just using a really fluffy brush, I'm going into the medium brown and I'm gonna put that right here at the corner crease just to add some dimension and then I'm spreading that up into the crease. Making sure it's blended in so there are no harsh lines. And then I'm gonna just dip back into the bronze and the medium brown back and forth and use that as an eyeliner both on top and on bottom. On top I'm just sticking super close to my lashes, it's not really gonna show up on me because my lashes are dark and this isn't a very you know, deep shade, neither of these are very deep shades. But it will still add a little bit of definition and then I'm going along the bottom. I've got to get a new cream colored or nude pencil to put inside my waterline because <laughs> I have allergies every day and every day my waterline looks red and it just looks so much brighter and fresher when I use that product. 
my two glowy, there's a window right there. And I just can't do much about that light. Maybe better that I'm overlit than under, I don't know. Yeah, in person I'm not as glowy. I don't know what to do about that. All right, let's go in now with the concealer. I got the shade C3 in their foundation, their new foundation, I wear the shade 3.5 and it is perfect. They did not have 3.5 available when I purchased the, the uh, concealer and I thought, oh, I want it so badly, I'm gonna get it anyway and this will add some brightening, but I should have just waited and gotten the 3.5. And then this spot right here, it was this little spot that I picked at and it wasn't a big deal, but then as time went on, it kind of scabbed over and I scratched it because I forgot it was there. These are just some um, melasma, some sunspots, and then this is a blemish. Um, anyway, so I had forgotten it was there and scratched it and the scab came off and it became a bigger issue. And then again, last night I forgot it was there. So I scratched it and it was really bleeding and I'm quite upset about it. Hopefully I can remember it's there and not scratch it. <laughs> so I put that, you know, inner corners where I tend to get darkness, mostly from allergies, and then on some sunspots, and then on the tip of my nose, because it's so red from me blowing. And I'm just tapping that in and spreading it out. I had on a thick moisturizer under my eyes this morning because it doesn't seem to matter what kind of product I'm using. My under eyes always look dry right here in the inner corner. So it's good to see that the Fit Glow is playing well with that. Rearrange, we are just opposite from the fireplace now. I think this is much better. You can see truly what it looks like. I know there's light behind me. The blind is closed, but just there's just a lot of light here. I'm in the mountains in Colorado at our condo and we are just flooded with lights, which is a wonderful thing, but it's hard to find a place to film. So here's the finish of everything. You can see it's really just a lovely skin-like finish. I would not call it dewy. Maybe it depends on your skin. I have dry skin and up here in the mountains it's drier than usual because typically it's more normal, but it is pretty dry right now. So this is the finish. And now I'm gonna go in with my Say Air Set Setting Powder. I love this stuff. It doesn't really look like you have powder on once you get it on. It doesn't really provide coverage. It does a little bit of blurring. Um, but the reason I love it is it really takes away any tackiness. Now, as I mentioned, I wouldn't normally powder this foundation, but I'm gonna go in with the Fit Glow uh, medium brown as a contour and the bronzer is a bronze and they can be snaggy whereas the blush goes on beautifully even if I don't powder so I'm just gonna do a little bit of powdering All right. so now I'm going back in like I said with the medium brown as a contour and then I'm just I'm just using a small fluffy brush. It's very much like the eyeshadow brush, but larger, because I don't want a lot of this product on. Just a subtle contour to give my cheeks some definition. And then I also put it across the top of my head, towards my hairline and brush that in well, and under my chin. Yeah, I think that's fine. And I do want to compare this shade actually to the Westman Atelier contour that I always use in the shade Biscuit. I haven't compared these before and I was curious because when I picked these shades, I was thinking that I would use the medium brown as a contour. Here's the Westman Atelier and here is the medium brown. And the Westman Atelier has a lot more gray in it, which would be a better contour shade from, you know, in general when you're looking for a contour. And there they both are sheared out a little bit. But I think it works perfectly well as a contour. And now I'm gonna go in with the bronze as a bronzer. My mirror keeps putting reflections on me. Sorry about that. Can you see how snaggy that is? So it doesn't spread out the easiest. It does take a little bit of work, even on top of the powder. 
I don't know, maybe after I play around with this more, but this has been my experience for the past week that I've been using this. Now, since there is quite a bit of shimmer in the bronzer, I'm not going to use a highlighter today. Although, you know, I do miss an inner corner highlight. I really feel like my face needs that. Now I'm gonna go in with the Lash Primer. This is such an interesting product. It has the silicone wand with the sparsely packed bristles, like they're really quite a bit apart, and it really does separate the lashes and just add a bit of definition. The plum color doesn't show up so much on my lashes because they're dark, but it definitely provides a hold and separation and some lengthening. I'll show you the difference once I get it on one eye. I just want to make sure to really coat the lashes. Mascara, I do have the Fit Glow Mascara, but I'm not currently using it. I'm currently using the Jones Road, but this does go nicely with the brand. I've never quite understood, I've never quite understood the stripes on the concealer, but the top goes and, you know, the branding here, maybe because they don't want it to look too much like their lip glosses, this is a mini that I got with my order. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and put on my mascara now and I'll be right back to talk about the lash primer. Here's what I'll tell you about the primer. The other day I put it on one eye and not the other and then I put on my mascara and I really couldn't tell a difference between how the eyes look. But by the end of the day, the eye with the primer on it, the mascara looked like it did early in the morning and the eye that I didn't use the primer on, the mascara had all but flitted away. It was a drastic difference. So I thought that the primer didn't really do much except add some featheriness to my lashes. It doesn't help with volumizing, by the way, but it definitely helped the mascara adhere to the lashes and stay put all day. I am gonna go in to finish the look with some of my Fit Glow Lip Liner in the shade Root. I really like this liner. Whoa, first of all, my lips are uneven. And second of all, I overlined on the bigger side. <laughs> Oh, geez. That was an accident. Okay, I think that's as well as I'm going to do. But I love this lip liner because I love that it has the pencil on one end and the brush on the other. And it's easy to tell the two sides apart because of the silver ring. You know, that's the side with the brush. It's creamy and comfortable. I did already have the lip balm on, but we're going to put some more on. And we haven't done blush. Oh, yeah, yeah. Moving around like this, I think, really threw off my whole thing. Anyway, all right, let's go into the Fit Glow blush. We're going to go back in. It's the shade Go. And as I mentioned, it is not snaggy. It actually reminds me of my PYT blush that I absolutely love that has just some brightening and uh, skin blurring effects. I really feel like that's what this does. This is the perfect flush of color. Let me take my hair down and we'll talk about the products. All right, guys, this is the finished look. Let's go ahead and wrap up. The Dew Skin, I think, is an excellent one and done kind of product. It's not Dew Skin, it's Skin Dew, I think is what it's called. The Iris and Romeo foundation with the SPF of 25. Keep in mind, you're probably never gonna use the amount required to reach the full 25 SPF, so I would recommend wearing an SPF underneath, but it has a beautiful finish, skin-like finish, very comfortable to wear, no tackiness or excessive oiliness or anything. It is a beautiful texture and product. And the Power Peptide Lip Balm, I love it. Super comfortable, I love the little bit of sheen it gives the lips. It's not glassy, but it is glossy. It's so comfortable. It lasts for quite a while. I wish the packaging were different so I didn't have to dip my finger in, but otherwise that is a great product. We'll see as I use it over time if it does do something to my lips <laughs> like the peptide is supposed to do. And the brow product, I would pass unless you're just looking for tint and you really need that. I would just skip it. It's a thicker product, it's harder to work with, it can smudge on you know, my brows, and I, just, I would just skip that one. 
Now, as far as the Fit Glow goes, I'm loving the recyclable, refillable palette. I love the idea of it. I'm thrilled that it's made with 100% post-recycled plastic. I love the big mirror. I love that I can choose my own shades to put in there and that I can use them for multiple things. It will be great for travel. I got this whole, you know, face with it. And the products are all beautiful. Just know some are a little more uh, grabby or, um, harder to spread out on the face not hard but just more difficult the mattes are definitely easier to spread out and the more shimmery you get the harder it is to you know fully spread out on your face but they wear beautifully i haven't found i need an eye primer with them and i've been really pleased with the multi-use and i think they look really nice on my eyes i do wish there was a lighter brighter shade that i could use as an inner corner and center of the lid pop but i'm sure fit glow will come out with more colors as time goes on the concealer is lovely i do still need to moisturize under it. it is a thicker more full coverage concealer quite creamy and you don't need to use a lot i'm excited to continue using that and I'm really happy with the eyelash primer. I've been pleasantly surprised with that. Definitely more for lengthening and separating, not for volumizing, but it's worked beautifully. And if you have lighter color lashes, you don't even need to use mascara on top of it because it will give you that deep plum color and could look really nice. So overall, I'm glad I've got all these things and tried them all. <clears throat> I will continue using them. I will even continue using the brow product because I'm curious over time as it dries down if I'll enjoy it more or you know if there are these brow benefits because everything from Iris and Romeo very much like Fit Glow has all these skincare properties so we'll see I hope this video wasn't too discombobulated and confusing with all the lighting changes and I feel like it's focused my camera's focused on the pillow behind me and not on me even though I tried to get it to focus on me enough about me 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 and my camera problems and lighting issues thank you for watching as always i hope you find some time to pamper yourself today bye